So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair, the Nike Tiffany Air Force One. Can you tell any differences between the two? If not, stay tuned to the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you between two pairs of Nike Air Force Ones. But not just any pair, it's the Tiffany Air Force One. So this is a pretty big comparison and here I have the retail pair on my right, the fake pair on my left, and this video is just to show you what to look for if you're spending the money and trying to purchase a retail pair. So we'll get straight into the comparison. Let's look at the boxes. So what's quite cool about this collaboration is they do actually come in this kind of Tiffany blue Nike box, which I think actually looks really nice however the fake one doesn't have this one correct so if i show you side by side you can see the fake box is actually slightly smaller than the retail box and also a slightly darker color so the tiffany blue isn't tiffany blue it has a slight almost a slight hint of green to it and it's just a darker blue compared to the retail box so hopefully that shows up on the camera because it's actually quite easy to see side by side and also the size difference between the boxes is actually quite clear to see as well. So if we spin the boxes around to the side and take a close look at the labels, and I'll give you a close up of this, you can see differences once again. So if you look at the label and where it says 9.5 in the US sizing, you can see the spacing of the nine towards the dot is different on the fake one compared to the retail one. You can see it's slightly wider spaced apart on the fake label compared to the retail one. And if you look at the overall font and text size, you can see it varies between the retail one and the fake one. I would also say the fake label is maybe slightly bolder than it is on the retail one. But these are small details, but these are stuff you're going to have to look for if you are trying to authenticate your pair. But do we really care about the boxes or do you want to open them up and take a look at the shoes? So let's open up the fake one first. They do actually have the Tiffany paper on top covering the shoes. So they've done a good job of that. We'll see how accurate the paper is. So we'll take the retail one out as well. And you can see it does have the paper on top as well. And I'll compare the papers side by side. So if we look at the same part of the paper on the fake one and the retail one, we can see differences here. So the retail one does have a slight shine to it, a slight glossy look to the top of the paper, whereas the fake one does not have this. And if you look at the image quality and print on both of them, you can see it varies between the two. So on the retail one, you can see how crisp and clean it is printed. All the details and the images are on the paper. Whereas on the fake one, you can see the colors are slightly off and the print is a little bit smudged and not as clean as it is on the retail one. Hopefully this shows up on the camera and hopefully you can see it pretty well. But it's just not as high quality on the fake paper compared to the retail one. But it's just paper at the end of the day. We'll open them up and take a look at the shoes. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair, the Nike Tiffany Air Force One. Can you tell any differences between the two? If not, stay tuned to the video. So the first difference I'm gonna point out is quite an obvious difference and it's from above. If you look at that toe box area and look at the material used, you can see it's a different material used on the retail compared to the fake. As you can see the color difference on the toe box area. If you rub your finger over, you can see a color changing on the retail one. Compared to the fake one, it just stays the same color. So it's not as quite high quality finish as the retail one here. The fake one just doesn't have that material quite the same. It does look good at first appearance, but if you actually look closer, it doesn't have the same material quality on the toe box and on the surrounding parts of the shoe. The next difference I'm going to point out is actually on the toe box once again. And if I take a look from above, you can see the overall shape of the toe box is very different from retail to fake. With it being a lot more squared off on the toe box area on the fake one compared to the retail one. It just makes the whole shoe just look a little bit chunky and off-putting. It just The overall shoe on the fake one just looks a little bit off. It isn't quite an Air Force shape, so it's slightly lower down cut at the heel part as well. And just a bit chunkier at the toe. So the part that I'm probably most interested in is the Tiffany Blue swoosh. And this leather quality is really good on the retail one. However, the swoosh shape does look a little bit weird and if you compare it side by side with the fake one You can see there is a color difference between the two swooshes So they are pretty close But if you look in studio lighting you can see that the Tiffany blue on the retail one is a lighter color than it is on the fake one On the fake one it has a slightly more hint of green compared to the retail one And this is actually quite easy to see when you hold them side by side if you have one pair in hand it's a little bit more difficult to see, but the color is not a true Tiffany blue. If we spin the shoes around to the back and we take a look at this heel tab here, it does say Nike Air on the back heel tab. And if I show you this on the fake one compared to the retail one, you can see that the stitching on the back is different retail to fake. So you can see from the close up that the air text at the bottom is much thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. On the retail one, it's very cleanly done and the letters are pretty much symmetrical in thickness across the back on the air text. 
Whereas on the fake one, you can see the R is slightly thicker and the I is slightly thicker. And just the overall text is not embroidered the same as it is on the retail one. So if I bring the shoe up to the camera, you see this is how the retail one was pre-laced. So it has a weird lacing system where it comes dead stock like this. Whereas the fake one wasn't pre-laced like this, the fake one was pre-laced like this, as you can see. So there is a difference. I know it's quite minor and really only matters if you have a dead stock pair in hand, but that's quite an interesting fact. It was pre-laced differently to what you would normally expect this is pretty much dead stock laced like it was on a pair of Yeezys, so it's slightly different to it is on the Tiffany Air Force Ones. So if we look at the back part of the shoe and this inner sock liner here, you can see it's this leather like material. If I show you them side by side, you can see the fake one is a lot more chunkier in this area compared to the retail one. So when you put these on feet, it does stick out quite a lot on your ankle. The leather padding on the inside is a lot thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. Might make a lot of difference, it might cushion down eventually, but straight away, it's easy to tell that, that fake one is much thicker on the outer sides and inner sides of the sock liner cushioning. Another difference to note, at the back of the shoe, you do know it does come with that silver pendant on the back here. If you compare them side by side, if you have a dead stock pair, the dead stock pair should come with a plastic cover to protect that silver panel at the back of the shoe, but the fake one did not come with that plastic cover. If you look at the silver pendant on a close-up, you can see that the fake one's actually done quite a good job of this. The only mistake they've made is where it says Tiffany & Co. You can see the O of the Co. is placed lower down on the fake one compared to the retail one. You can see it just kind of looks like it's misaligned compared to the retail pair. Spinning the shoe upside down, you take a look at the Tiffany blue circles on the underneath of the tread. You can see that the color differences is clear to see here once again. With the fake one being that slightly more green hint to it than the retail one which obviously has that tiffany blue color so they just don't have the tiffany blue color perfectly spot on which is a little bit surprising but it's just something to note between the fake one and the retail one just look for the differences in the tiffany blue color another key difference but i can't really show you on camera the fake one absolutely stinks of glue the glue smell is so so strong it's kind of hard to have these in hand because it's so strong the smell, it's so off-putting. So let's now take a look inside the shoe. So let's open up the retail one. It comes with massive paper shoe tree on the inside. Fake one, also massive paper shoe thing on the inside. There is a difference in color between the two. You can see the retail one is a slightly darker car body paper compared to the fake one. Fake one is a lighter paper and a lot more flimsy than the retail one. The retail one's actually quite sturdy. Be paying extra £10 for this because it's a Tiffany Air Force paper, but no. So we'll take out the insole and compare them now. So what's weird about the insoles is they've actually got the Tiffany blue colour spot on. There doesn't seem to be any difference in the colour of the two insoles side by side. But if we take a look at the Nike Air logo at the back part of the heel, you can see a difference in the R symbol. You can see where the R symbol is to the right of the Nike logo. You can see it's much chunkier and a little bit off center on the fake one compared to the retail one. And if you look at the air text, it's slightly thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. However, this is incredibly minor and very hard to see. Spinning the shoe upside down, taking a look at the details on the sizing on the bottom of the insole, you can see that they've got the details incorrect on the fake one. So these are both a UK 8.5. So if you look at the woman's sizing, it says 10.5 to 11.5 on the insole, but on the fake one, it says 9.5 to 11. So this is incorrect on the fake one. It should say what it says on the retail one, which is 10.5 to 11.5 in the woman's sizing. So there's a difference there. So to summarize, what are the main things to look for if you are trying to authenticate your Tiffany Air Force Ones. Well, number one, the color of the Tiffany blue swoosh and the Tiffany blue parts of the sole. They should be Tiffany blue. The fake ones haven't got this color right. They're slightly more green and isn't the correct Tiffany blue color. I know this is gonna be hard if you just have one pair in hand, but it is something to know if you have anything else Tiffany blue, compare it to it. The panel at the back, if it's dead stock, make sure it has that sticker part on top of it and make sure all the details on the silver pendant are correct. If it's a dead stock pair, check how it's laced because it should come in this kind of weird pre-laced look. And then the overall quality of the material itself. Rub your finger over it, it should change color as you rub your finger over it because the high quality Nubuck suede that they've used is really pretty nice. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to authenticate your pair because this is going for quite a lot of money and you don't want to get it wrong. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Helps me do more videos just like this and helps you authenticate your pairs. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.